Hello and welcome to episode 80. It's the final episode of the first season. Yes. However, this is only going to be a comma, not a full stop. We, we will be coming back very shortly, a couple of weeks in fact, and uh, we'll be continuing. It's just going to be a little break so I can do a bit of detailing, recharge my batteries, allow everyone who's new to the channel, welcome by the way, to uh, possibly go and catch up with some of the series. And uh, you guys can watch the cab rides that are going to be coming, and they will be coming. Now, recording this, you may have noticed, and I don't know whether this is going to be late, probably. It's fitting, isn't it, the final final episode of the season. I spent the last four hours waiting for a storm to pass, and it was the loudest, longest storm I've seen in a while. Well, we're going to get by it. Better late than never. This is where you break out all the, uh, all the sayings. Was it fashion fashionably late? I don't know how late it's going to be. But we're get, I'm going to give it a go and try not to edit it too much. So that, that should be a, an experience in itself. There's a train going by. This is Guess the Station. Quite possibly uh, one of the hardest of the series. I'm going to say though, it's possibly because I didn't do a very good job of it. It is Yardley Wood, guys. Yes. Now, looking at Google Maps, I'm not surprised you didn't get it. it I, it's a bit of a poor attempt. However, what that does mean, I might give this a go over the two-week break and, and try and make it look a bit more Yardley Wood and less generic. So we're going to zoom out. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's got the road. However, there should be a, a, a big old parking lot here, car park. And uh, the road's heading down this way and I feel like the entrance should be down either side there so I'll, I'll give that a, a a better shot so what we got planned today we'll sit here and have a look at our trains well I've been busy you'll be pleased to know we're going to put in a new bus service today the 50 heading out to, to help our little sims catch the bus and leave their car keys at home there's our new train uh, that, that was put in in the previous episode. Let's bring up the uh, UI, actually. We're in March 11th. We need this to end today on 1956. That's when the Class 101 does appear for us and marks the start of the diesel era for real. And, uh, yeah, this is a bit of an end of an era. I think that's what I'm going to call the episode today. And, uh, yeah, should we go and take a look, then, at what I've done? I do, actually, before we do that, Let's, uh, let's move in some of you uh, wonderful people watching out there. Uh, you've all been in the comments saying, oh, I would like a house. So we're going to put you in. There's Watford's little farm. David. Mr. David White has a house over here. You're going to get some company. Right. We're going to move in. Steam Lance. There you go. You have, uh, you have a building, offices, next to David there. And also... Out back here. I don't know what you're doing out here. But uh, you, you can make that up as you go along. J-Man. Oh, alright. Or or don't don't type on there. Can we try that again? Come on. J-Man 07. There we go. We have a few more uh, few more of you in there. But I'm going to put... There's another building that I've added. Up toward Kidderminster as well. Right, so it's looking nice out here. This is one of the areas that I, I did a... A lot of field work on and it gives you an idea of how the rest of the map is going to look eventually it's obviously just going to take a while although we're busy putting in um, infrastructure at the moment so eventually eventually we'll get there i like it a little moo cows there what we got here sheep yeah we've got sheep there right anyway you've seen that I do want to have a little bit of a recap today of, of the entire map. I think that's fitting halfway through. Um, we'll, we'll, start, we'll start with what I've been working on, which is out towards Droitwich. I've just been doing bits here and there, really, and tidying things up. If we head up towards Droitwich, we'll see that we are connected now. I, I went and did this because we don't want to... We don't want a final episode where we're building track, do we? We want to want to put some trains on. So we're going to extend uh, the service we have currently going to Kidderminster all the way to all the way to Worcester. 
In fact, it's probably going to be the one that heads here and will come in on, on this platform and share it with this, this train here. What is this train? Actually, given that we have that one going into there, we'll, we'll take it into here, into Shrub Hill. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. There we go. We are going to have an extra service. I don't think we're going to do that today. But uh, yeah, it's starting to look the part, isn't it? There we go. I don't know what, which bits I've done now. I think this is new for you guys. It's starting to uh, look a bit busier. Do you know, we should extend the line before we take a look at this. And then we've got some train action down here too. I know you can see all this lovely stuff I've been working on. Don't worry, we'll take a close look at that in a second. But, but we should really extend our line. What would be the easiest way to do this? I guess it would be to uh, get this. It was... Which one is it? Oh, well, there's one way to find out, isn't there? Only one goes this way. Okay, it's the Kidderminster to Whitlock's End. Yes. Oh, is this the one that terminates there? That's kind of awkward. Yeah, I don't want you to terminate there, really. That might be the service that terminates at Kidderminster. What I would like this to be is Worcester to Whitlock's End. That might throw things out, but... I'll, I'll have to I'll have to look that up during the uh, during the break. Worcester, there we go. <laughs> Did I spell that right? Let's get you in. We're gonna we're gonna extend this to go up to Kidderminster. Obviously, you can't turn around. We're gonna stop you at Hartlebury, even though it's the least used station. But uh, we're gonna stop you there anyway. You're also going to draw it, which which you can turn around at, but that's not where you're stopping. And it's going to be our first train that is stopping at Worcester Shrub Hill. Though, you are you are making some interesting choices here, which suggests I've missed out a crossover somewhere, haven't I? Yes. I feel like there's, there's, there's a crossover we don't have. That's a good start. Should you possibly not be doing that? I don't know. Perhaps this, this here could be a double slip switch, maybe. And then they, they come in that way. You know, I said there wouldn't be much editing. But I'm going to have to have a quick look on the map for this junction. Because if you're coming in here, surely there's a way to get over to that side. Alright, I'll, I'll look this up, guys. Alright, I think I found where it crosses over that we don't have on our map. And I'm hoping we can, we can fit it in. Uh, it's actually going... Something goes this way, which is a little unfortunate because I don't think we can fit it in there. However, we might be able to improvise a touch. Um, it should be just there. We could move this back a little bit, maybe. All right, I said there'd be no track building, but I didn't foresee this, this issue. So if we go right at this point here and, and then cross over, can we get something nice that's not too slow? I mean, it's a bit excessive. 40 would be lovely. Yeah, do you know what? That kind of works. Do we have the room to continue off here as well? That would be lovely. It looks like it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think we've got away with it. Does that look about right to, to everybody? Which means some of these won't be one way, will they? This is this is not a double slip switch, so you uh, you're probably one way then, aren't you? I don't know because I've, I've I've turned off these. Yeah, you're one way. So in fact, you can't be there. We get rid of that, and we instead. I feel like some of these should be double slip switches, but they're not. They're absolutely not. Maybe you come in on two then. If we change you to, well, it's not two, is it? What are you currently on? Are you really on terminal two? Oh, because they're split, aren't they? Yes. Uh, can we change you to three? Or would it be four, this end? There we go, four. Is that going to be too short? It might be. Does that work, though? It sort of does. Yeah, train 44. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. I mean, that sort of works, right? That sort of works for us. I mean, if that was a double slip switch, then we, we'd get away with this much easier. Except we can't make it one, so no, we can't cheat, can we? That one could be, but that's where that crossover is, and probably not worth it. Who are you? Yeah, you're not you, are you? Okay, who's train 44? What's up with you? 
Are you just stuck because I put you... Yeah, you'll probably just need a restart. Let, let's let's stop and start, yeah? No path, really. Oh, have you got yourself muddled? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're not going to find a place there. We'll have to turn you around. There we go. You, you should be able to find your way over and... That, that was my fault, Mr. Train. Don't don't blame yourself. I'm doing this, the pathing here and signalling, so... Are we happy with that at Shrub Hill? Does that, is that how that works? Is this, like, bi-directional? I feel like there should be a crossover here, but I could not see one. I mean, it would make sense, right? In fact, going that way as well would be nice. I feel like the trains that do turn around here, however, would possibly use this one and avoid this line. Yeah, do you know, we'll go with that. Oh, here. which one's this one? Is this our first one to use it? I think that'll work. I mean, it'll have to space them out. They'll wait here. But, uh, yeah, no, I like that. I do like that. Uh, if that's... If we make that one way... Is that one way? Should that be one way? It'll have to be, right? There's no other way to get round there unless you use this place for some sort of passing loop. But uh, I think it's just the yard. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh, it is one way. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that situation. Our train should stop up here. Oh, and they just fit in the first half of the platform. We missed that. We'll take another look at that. I like that. Brilliant. Okay, you're going to be stopping at Droitwich Spa. Next. And you're going to be stopping at Hartlebury. And then back to Kidderminster. And then you're... You should be back to Blake Down, right? No, you're not. You, you're going to have to go to Blake Down again. That's not right. Have we missed the Blake down somewhere? Yeah, I've, I've kind of put these in the wrong place. It should be Worcester, right, as the last place. Because we've got Hagley currently. Let's, let's redo that. Let's redo that. We'll do it properly, and then it shouldn't be such a pain to get right in the end. Right. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to put Worcester in at the top of the list, because it should end with... Uh, Whitlock's end in the middle. So let's put Worcester in there, which it now already figures out. And then we get rid of Blake down. And then you're going to be stopping at Droitwich after Worcester. There we go. This might work. And then Hartlebury. Then Kidderminster. And then you've got uh, Blake down. There we go. There we go. Then Hagley. There. Brilliant. Now after Hagley, we go back to Blake down and uh, back to Kidderminster. Yes. Perfect. I think I fixed it, guys, and it makes a bit more sense when we come back to look at it. Where it uh, that should be it now, and then it's and then it's back to Worcester Shrub Hill. Look at all those stops. Thirty-six stops. How many trains do we have on there? Now we only have four, but I'm thinking that might be enough if we uh, add another because we're going to have another service there coming out here. The one that the ones that go to Dorridge, I believe, go out that far as well. Uh, so we will be having more going out there. I don't want to just put those in though. Not not yet. I just want to make sure that they work okay. We could uh, repurpose some trains. Actually, it's not going to be too bad, is it? Let's look at the line manager. And if we go down here and only see visible trains. Nine minutes. Do you know, for a, for a Worcester to a Whitlock's end, nine minutes interval. That's not bad, is it? How does this... Yeah, this is what we needed to look at, right? We needed to look at the, how this uh, twin twin bay platform works and i think it's about perfect where do you stop sir because we we made them extra long oh that's wonderful look at that so we could fit two two of these trains on one heading back that way oh i like it i like that and away he goes he should now be heading to droitwich which he is brilliant Okay, should we have a look over here? It, you might have noticed that I've, I've put some trees in, but I've given uh, I've given Worcester four four Gate Street. There we go. I got it right. Go me. A little bit of a makeover. I've reworked the bridge. I hope you like that better, guys. It's it's a bit better, isn't it? it it's not quite so terrible now. Uh, I've put some uh, lovely white beams across there. We now have barriers across here, and we've, we've got a bit more of a texture on the bridge too. It's a little bit wider, it still doesn't, it's still on the road to nowhere. 
We've got the parking area down here. There's supposed to be a race course here, but there's absolutely zero way I was fitting that in. Lovely house. That's rather nice, isn't it? I was going to say, I'm going to remove your house, but you've kind of done a good job. We don't mind a riverfront house at the moment. We'll let you live there. There we go. We've got this side done as well. I've, I've done the, the double arch thing. Ignore that it looks like there's a, it looks like it doesn't touch the ground. It does. Uh, the way the shadows are worked on this game, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't quite do a good job of representing that. So there we go. I've put the foot in the middle. It's, it's awful. But it's there. What do you reckon, guys? Do you like, uh, do you like the viaduct now for, for Worcester? I, I don't think it's too bad, is it? It's much better now that it's got these railings going along the side. It makes it for some beautiful cab rides. Uh, I've, oh yes, and I put the, the, the kind of station building in to represent climbing up. It, it's supposed to be kind of at street level here, but we're still going to need um, actual access to the station. Otherwise, no one's going to get on it, are they? So there we go. We have our, our new Worcester. I, did, I, I went and worked on that. Oh, I did this bit as well. Just blocked them from building here. So, we, you know, because we you need some park areas in town centres. But that's usually something you can't do until you've got the population to play with. And we're going to have to let uh, Worcester build up. I think this is a few suburbs, right? Yeah, we have got Northwick. We've got Worcester. We've got Ronxwood. Lippard, Lippard Hanford. Great Meadow. Brickfields needs a little bit of growth. I think you're all right, though. We haven't decimated you. Burnell, Burnhill Heath is actually a little village out there. Or town. I think it's more of a village. So what we're going to do is, is try and block this little area off and have some sort of separation in between and try and get them to grow either side of the track. Hopefully. That, sh that should look all right. Okay. So we've took, taken a look at that. We've still got lots of work to do here. Anyhow, for those that like uh, some uh, more level crossings, we have them in the right places. Uh, it's pro possibly not these. We'll change them to more modern ones as we go through the eras. We're in August, guys. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to make make it into the diesel era. Um, I don't know whether we'll bring in our first diesel train. We might. I don't know where they're going to go, though, to be honest. We're probably going to colour them. I don't like what you've done there. I really don't. That's absolutely abysmal. Could we have a better go at this? There we go. Wasn't hard, was it? Oh, that was terrible, though. Ah, I didn't know there was another. Can we do that nice and smooth? I don't mind a bit of a wiggle in the road. That's what happens. But that was awful. I feel like you had a go at that yourself. I'm blaming the, the AI, but I think it was me. <laughs> I do. I think I did that. Okay, so where are we at the moment? Hartlebury? Yes, I'm going to say Hartlebury, even though I can't see it. There we go. I put in this little foresty area. I don't know what it is, whether it's a golf course or like a nature reserve where you walk through. Oh, we've got our train going by. I also did a bit more to the... Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Oh, and the sounds of the coaches. I love that. Okay, just those. Do you like the little... Uh, separation I did I just I did put those in manually they wouldn't snap quite right if you did them by the track so you have to just kind of use your page up and down keys and, and get them in there considering I did it that way round I mean it's a bit off but you can't really tell just don't look too closely it looks all right though I kind of like it. it it does look the business and now if you look down to here say you're coming down this road we've got some food processing places there that's going to look lovely when it's done. It's going to look absolutely amazing. We are going to put in some uh, stuff today. This is why this is here. We, we need Kidderminster to get a to get a grow on. Oh, yes. I reworked the, uh, the area around here. It wasn't quite right. The Seven Valley Railway actually goes around the outside of this depot. So I had to do some shenanigans and I ran out of room. But, you know, we've got it. We've got the sidings in there. I don't know really how you're going to turn around there. It's probably only for this this shed here. Shunters. I think shunters will actually fit in there, wouldn't they? Do we have a look? I mean, we do have shunters. BR. Class. Where's our class 08? Would it fit in there? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Plenty of room. You can turn around there. Isn't that lovely? So we'll be able to 
get those in later. They're a bit early for diesel shunters. They'll be brand new. Although it's an active line, so maybe we should park one up there, right? I mean, you won't be able to see it, really. <laughs> we, but we could do it. We could put it there. What do you reckon, guys? Is that a little bit better? Now, we've got this place over here. I am going to move a couple of people in that you, you both live... Well, living slash working here, I would say. We're going to move in uh, Benny Gerbus. Gibus? I don't know. I've, I've butchered your name, but you've got a house to make up for it. And uh, Chris Ivekit. Yeah, Ivekitch. Brilliant. You've both got uh, names I can't pronounce, and you've both got houses. <laughs> Does that make up for it? I could just, I could have, should have just, really, what I should have done is said Benny and Chris and just got away with it and, and like scooted past it like that. All right then. So you're in and you're in. Okay, so I did a little bit of work here. This is the other side of Blake Down, which now has its uh, level crossing as well. I told you they would start coming in. When I start seeing uh, real level crossings, we put them in. But I don't just put them in willy-nilly. They have to go in with a purpose and that they, they do exist. Again, it probably won't be like this uh, once we go through the eras. We'll put in modern modern crossings there we go we got the bus stop starting to happen up there this bit i uh, worked on we've got the the main road uh, this is birmingham road i think heads into kidderminster that way from blake down and it crosses the track something like this i kind of did as best i could with it uh, we've got the forest it's it's probably more this side but i wanted to get the farm area in so if we take a look down at track side it looks kind of nice right I like it. We've got the, uh, the... Let's hide the UI so we can take a proper... Look, at someone's driving down there. I can see cars down here. There we go. Look, that's beautiful. So there we go. That's starting to happen. We've got some cows in the field over there. That's uh, that's where we just moved Benny and Chris into. You, you've got this little area here. I do want to take a look at it. I not so bother to take, take my time doing it. We are going to set up a little... Freight run. We're going to have to find somewhere in uh, Kidderminster to drop off food for them and uh, building materials. Where is the building material? I don't think they're hooked up the best. Well, do you know, we could kind of use this main road, right? Come through here. That, that's kind of lovely. We're going to have to do some some more building around here, but we, we should be able to get it to grow. So is it starting to come together? It's going to look quite nice, isn't it, for the the cab rides. No one's using this road. I don't blame them though. There's there's not really anywhere to go. We'll probably branch off that way and head down there. I do want to make a farm building around here. There is one trackside. It kind of counts as trackside scenery. If you look down here though, it looks kind of nice. I do like that. It it's almost like it is on Google Maps. I was quite proud of myself. There you go with the little arch bridge there. I've started to do my arch bridges with a bit more texture and difference in them. And they're not just blocky. Takes a bit more work, obviously, but not too much. And, and I think worth the uh, worth the end result. Look at them using the, the roads. We need to encourage you guys. Where are you going? You're taking a back road, are you? You're all taking a back road. No, you're not. Some of you went and carried on into Blake down that way. Well, you might, in fact, have a... Is that another lump in the road? Oh, do you know, that never gets boring, does it? Deleting roads that, that never quite work right. I don't know how I miss them. I really don't. Yeah, I've confuzzled everybody now. Can we uh, can we not do stuff like that? Yeah, you, you, you probably were supposed to come down here, but I messed up your road. There you go, sir. You're confused. He's like, oh, you're there. It, it was there. He kind of walked past, stopped. He's like, I, I don't know where I'm going now. There was a road here once upon a time. Wait, no, there it is. I must have, uh, I must have not seen it. No, don't worry, sir. It was, it was me. All right, official episode. I wondered how I was going to fit that in. Well, I managed it. It was bound to happen, wasn't it? Beautiful. So there we go. We have Blake down. We have this little area near Kidderminster. I guess we should hook this up, shouldn't we? Oh no, yes, do it, Grand, do it, otherwise you'll never do it. I'm hoping they build out here, but I highly doubt it. 
a bit of a distance. Okay, so food is commerce. Let's bring up this. Food is commerce. And our construction material is going to be... You, well, you're kind of all in the wrong place. You're kind of all in the wrong place. That's okay. Well, do I want them to build there? I might actually hook you up. Do we have enough room? Because I wouldn't mind the, the like massive uh, geodisc things. I know I always use them, but they are amazingly... They're just like the UK where everything looks the same when it comes to uh, big warehouses, box warehouses. Probably why I like this one so much. And then it doubles as a uh, as an actual bit of scenery as well as something functional. If we slide that in there, that means this can be... Uh, well, I shouldn't have worried about official episodes, should I? I mean, it's got plenty of, plenty of chance here. Will that catch them? I don't know. Yeah, you just catch it. It might... What I'm hoping is it will encourage them to build out that way. There we go. So that's actually going to be... That's going to be the... Yeah, let's... Kidderminster Central. Well, yeah, not bad. Kidderminster Industry. There we go. We'll have another generic geodis over here. And this... We're going to just going to plow through some houses. Well, where could we have this? I don't mind it down here, to be honest. Because we want to encourage them to build out elsewhere. Do you know what I mean? We want you to, like... We want you to build around this as well. We could maybe put a road down the side if I've left enough room. Which I have. Yes, we're, we're kind of bulldozing the little houses they have. Now, could they build around the back? That would be kind of lovely. Wouldn't it? And we just hook in there. Yeah. Will, will they build there? That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? build around it what would this be kidderminster commerce yes that's what that'll be there we go well we, we've gone past the halfway mark i haven't looked up uh, i didn't do this i didn't do that that's not how that's supposed to look it's supposed to look like that game don't put roads into my mouth no that that's not a saying don't put words in don't don't do things i'm not doing uh, could we work that out a little better maybe if you go that way instead, and you come down like that, I mean, we're just kind of butchering everything now, aren't we? I don't like it. Oh, you could kind of... Ooh. Could we make a roundabout in the town centre? That's kind of nice. Don't worry, they will rebuild. From an episode that wasn't supposed to have any sort of uh, infrastructure work, I'm, I'm doing quite well, aren't I? But I think it uh, it will pay off in the long run. It'll be great to see Kidderminster grow because it's very small at the moment on our map. Because in hindsight, I could have put the extra cities in as suburbs. I really could have done. What I want to do is get this in at least the food. Right, the food. That's food processing. This farm, uh, Benny, Benny and Chris's farm. You're going to start uh, supplying Kidderminster. You've got some cows over there. Let, let's let's get you uh, a line into Kidderminster. It might feed more than just Kidderminster. It might. Anyhow. Yes. Let's add a new line. Two new lines. Three new lines. <laughs> All the lines. Right. Well, that one's almost uh, livestock, isn't it? Almost. This one's going to be grain. Yeah. So that's a bright yellow. This one's going to be our food. So our food line is going from here to, this was the commerce, right? To the commerce. You see, you kind of, I kind of like what you're doing. I kind of like what you're doing there. But we'll go with that, won't we? That that looks marvellous. That will make a, a kind of cool cab ride. So this is uh, Kidderminster food delivery. There we go. Beautiful. I like you. We'll, we'll get rid of that. And then we'll have our grain is going to go from here to here, which is... Oh, you called Hartlebury North. Well, maybe. That will do, right? Kidderminster grain... Oh, what would this be? Grain haulage. There we go. We'll call it that. And we'll call this... I mean, we could call it... We could call it B and C. That would be Chris and Benny. <laughs> Kidderminster... Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Uh, B and C. I wonder what on earth that is. B and C Kidderminster. There we go. 
livestock haulage. I like it. I like it. I hope you two don't mind working together because you, you, you're doing it now. No take backs. BNC Kidderminster. So we'll, we'll call this uh, BNC Farms um, Kidderminster. There we go. I kind of like that. Kidderminster. BNC Farms Kidderminster. Maybe, maybe I'll put another building, office buildings in here so uh, two more people can work in here and we'll do something similar to that. That'd be kind of cool. Right. Are we, what am I doing? What am I doing? Did I get everything on? I think I just didn't, did I? No, I did. Yeah, we got everything there. No, I didn't do the livestock, did I? Uh, uh, livestock. I just named it, but I didn't actually do it. They're all using different platforms. I remember the days when these would dance around and you couldn't actually, you couldn't actually make them go on the right, whatever one you wanted. It was awful. But uh, thankfully, they, they fixed that. And now it's kind of wonderful. You know what we don't have out here? And I've got no idea where it is. We don't have a a, uh, a depot for vehicles. But that could kind of double as scenery, I think. Uh, we could have some, like, waste ground here. Yeah, did you know what? We'll put it in here for now. We can always... That's not it, is it? We can't have that bridge as beautiful as it looks. Uh, what we want is that one. And, uh, oh, there it is. We have BR Greens. I forgot I installed those. Oh, I don't like that. That makes me panic a bit but we have uh oh we have network is that network southeast as well well i was gonna color them the same as what we were doing but do you know what we might mix it up with br green being uh london london northwestern railway and uh british rail blue could be i don't know what they could be they could be some maybe going the other way and br green would work for paddington as well Ooh, uh, choices and the network. What was the other one? I don't know what the other one was. Was it network rail? Oh, I, I have an excite for the next series. I really do. We made it though, guys. We're into 1956. Welcome to the beginnings of the diesel era. I don't know whether we're going to put them in today. But anyway, we've got to stick some trucks on. Let's stick uh, our big Volvos on from Killer Cans here. And we've got tippers. We don't want those. We, what do we want? Oh, wait, the Vikings, isn't it? Is this the livestock? I think that's the livestock. Right, so what can we have here? Which is going to be the food delivery? This one's goods, isn't it? That's probably going to be food and the livestock. So we'll have this one as livestock. Uh, I think just a couple, right, of those would be would be fine for that. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? Oh, oh dear, what are you doing, man? Get rid of those. Start again. Let, let's actually give them... Well, actually, you could take, like, livestock and grain. And we could have them multicoloured, right? That, why not? That would be kind of cool. Uh, what's a combination? Oh, so I didn't have to split those, did I? You silly man. We could have just had one line doing that. No, do you know what? Keep them separate in case we want to uh, chip the grain off. To That's why I do it separate. Yeah, we might need to ship the grain to a plastic works around here because i would like to really make it concentrate on making that grow to huge sizes so we've got the moo cows in well we haven't because i haven't brought the trucks can we actually buy the trucks buy two right get you running livestock let's do the same with grain the reason he said <laughs> which which makes sense that he, we don't stick grain in the tipper is because we don't have any cover for it and they could uh they could get uh, contaminated as they're delivering it. So what's your excuse for the old V66? That needs to get rid of grain. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going off, going off on Onion Jack. Anyhow, right, yes. I don't mind, I really don't. We can work with it. It's fine. I mean, they probably would be in like this. You could have them on a flatbed, couldn't you? In grain packets. That would kind of work. Do we have a flatbed? Does that have grain? That does have grain. Oh, you silly man. All right, I take it all back. If I only just looked, I might be able to do that the other side too. All right, there's our grain. This is how we're going to do grain from now on. Uh, the wrong color. That's how we're going to do grain. A couple of those, and we'll stick you on the grain. And you're not done yet, Grand. Buy road vehicles. 
Let's start that again. And food delivery is obviously going to be these trucks. And I don't know how many we'll need. Let's just eyeball it. Probably about four. Let's do it. And we'll have those. The orange color. One, two, three, four. Set line. All Kidderminster food delivery. We have activity, guys. I love it. And they've got the lovely GT badges on the side. Oh, oh those trucks. I just, I, I love them. I love the sounds, I love I love the models themselves, and I love that they've got GT transport plastered all over them. Do you know, I'm really looking forward to Transport Fever 2. Goodness me, if I still get this excited with Transport Fever that I've played non-stop for, since it was released, and I mean, I haven't had a break, and I'm still going and I can still sit here and play it. Every map's a new challenge. Alright, we have it all saved. What do we do? What we got left to do? We got the bus service to put in, right? And we we could start doing this too, which means we'll need uh, a little bit of stone shunting. Look at all the cars! Look at all the cars! It's beautiful. Hopefully, we're going to sort out some of the congestion in Birmingham before the end. Oh, who's looking forward to seeing those beautiful Class One Hundred Ones at the start of the next season? The, it'll be in episode one. Be, I, I'm excited. I for, completely forgot about the BR green that we have now. And it looked like network rail. It could have been. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's network rail. That's beautiful for the Midlands, right? Network rail up in the Midlands. Uh, some BR blues that are going into London, maybe. And maybe some of the BR greens for GWR way. Oh, I don't know. Choices galore. We'll probably colour some some of them. Killer Kansas ones do colour. We'll probably colour some of them orange for the cross city line. I know. It'll kind of be cool though. But the rest of them will keep uh, non-coloured and, and try and make use of all three liveries. Anyway, Grand, shall we put this in? Or are you just going to get super excited? I'm just going to get super excited, aren't I? That's, uh, you forgot what to, what you're doing, haven't you? Yes, you have. Right, new lines. Two. We need two more new lines. We want uh, stone. I tend to go with uh, dark grey there. And then we want combat delivery. There we go. It's the garish orange. Beautiful. So this one's going to be nice and easy. It's more like a little, a little shunting service from the quarry there into there. Probably only going to need one truck doing this. Yeah, we might do two. I don't know what we're going to call this. I don't. I really don't. Uh, where are you? Where Where actually are you on the map? We have to get rid of this a second. You are where you kind of... We'll, we'll call you... Oh, Cats Hill. Well, I mean, you've gone with Cats Hill. I'll, I'll take it. So... Oh, dear. Cats Hill. Or Cat Shill. <laughs> okay. That, that just amused me. I don't know why. Anyhow, uh, Cats Hill North is Cats Hill Stone Haulage. And then we've got Kidderminster. This is what this is going to be. Uh, what is this? Combat Delivery. There we go. Beautiful. And you are going to be going from there. You're probably going to serve more than just this place. Uh, just, just, just this place, Kidderminster. I kind of like where you're going. This is... This is my representation, really, of uh, we might. Is it? Is it a big road? No, we might have. I might need to work on that because uh, my Birmingham road kind of goes around that way. Uh, but he's taken more the route that Birmingham road would be. It, it's okay. We can't get it spot on. We're going to need a few, aren't we? On there, we can use uh, the same depot over here. They'll just travel out out there. Let's uh, let's get us some more of our big old Volvos because I love them. Right. Oh yes, uh, this is going to be the, the actual tipper. And you're going to be a nice grey colour. You're only going to need one, I think. Set line all. Where's Cat's Hill Stone Haulage? Brilliant. And um, what's the other one? Got combat, so that'll be a flatbed, right? Yes, construction materials. There you go. And you're going to be a lovely orange colour. We've got all sorts of activity going on now. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. Right, you do that. We'll keep an eye on those in the following season. There they go. 
off on their journey. They, they might go all sorts of ways. There goes our lonely stone truck. We could probably have a depot over here, couldn't we? I mean, I like to use the depots as scenery as well as something functional. Because it's just nice to have like a shed, a maintenance yard for uh, industry buildings such as those. Well, we haven't got long left, have we, Anna? We haven't got the uh, bus in. Oh, goodness me, you grand, you're slacking. Let's go and take a look at the 50. We'll go back at there. Go back at there. Go back and take a look at there. Up there, across there, over there. Yes. I do remember at the beginning I said, I, I'll, I'll try and avoid uh, editing this too much, so I'm going to leave all of my mistakes like that in for your viewing pleasure. Just because uh, time is of the essence and waiting four hours for a storm to pass was not what I had planned. Far from it. Okay, the 50. The 50 for us is going from Highgate all the way through King's Heath and all the way down towards uh, King's Norton there. I need to look at the right area there. It's going to be coming down this way and scooting off that way. We have our other bus service down here. It, it, it's sort of right. I'll take it. I mean, it, it's near as. Right then, so let's get that in, shall we? We'll get another new line. Uh, this is going to be the uh, 50, which is Birmingham to... I can't remember. Is it Kings Norton? I don't think it is, but we'll go with it. Kings Norton. I mean, it says the 50. And it is the same bus company and in their new red. We'll, we'll keep it red. That's what their new colours are going to be, so that's what we're having. Uh, we do we do need to change the X1, and I thought that would kind of be... Look at them. You're seeing all the, uh, the lines we've got going on there. It almost looks like the uh, rail map, doesn't it, with all the colours? You, you've got to put in like 50,000 stops here. Right, you're going to start here, and then you're, you're going round this way. There we go. We're, on, we're underway, guys. Then you're going there. Then you're actually going up this way. I'm not going to keep saying then you're going. I don't think you are actually going that way. I might have made a boo-boo there. No, that's another bus service. Let's not go that way. There, there. Right, then you're crossing over the road and the train track over there. All the way down here. Do you scoot off yet? I don't think you do. No, that's another bus service. You go that way. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. And there's your turnaround point. And then you head all the way back. I think that will do us for the 50. It kind of works. It's, it's close. It goes through all the places we kind of want it to. Uh, it doesn't really get in way of anything too much. You go there. And then you go there. And I think we're done, guys. Now, if we hide this other line. There we go. We scroll over there. There's our 50. It, it sort of looks like it. Are we looking north? We're not even looking north, so it looks a bit wonky. Right, there's our 50. I think that kind of works for us. It, it sort of follows how the 50 goes. Are you happy with that? Everybody who knows the area and the number 50, let's see if they uh, start using that, shall we? Oh, well, you know, they might start using it if you put some buses on. I find that helped quite a bit, actually. Good job. Brilliant. That's amazing. We have... Uh, don't we have a, a uh, bus depot in Hollywood somewhere? Is it Hollywood that has a bus depot? Yeah, there we go. Which is Yardley Wood. Um, which is actually, bizarrely, Yardley Wood is, is over there. It's uh, the guest station that was rather tricky. Anyhow, by the road vehicle. Let's get his uh, passenger service on. We're going to use the... Ooh, do you know, should we get some more double-deckers on? Why not? Why not? Let's get some double deckers on. One, two. Oh, how many are we gonna have on there? Isn't it like how many stops was that? Oh, I've lost it. Uh, fifty. Here we go. Bring you up. It is twenty-six stops. So if we go with thirteen, we'll go with twelve. We'll un uneven it a little bit so there's not quite as many buses as there are stops. I mean, half as many buses. Yeah, don't put it on yet. Can we? You, you've forgotten how to play. You're supposed to be over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That should be enough. We'll, we'll put that in. All right. 
we have some more bus services going through uh, going through Birmingham. So Kings Heath now has a way to connect into the centre of Birmingham there. But this, funnily enough, is roughly how I, when I'm playing the game, I, I tend to run my bus services at a loss in favour of funneling everybody into my rail networks. And that seems to serve me quite well and I make an absolute fortune on rail services. So much so that I have to make more and more rail services even though that every bus service shows a red figure if you look at them it's like nothing it costs nothing to run them even even at a loss i tend to prefer that because people will uh, will take the closest bus stop and sometimes if you you just go with the where you where you go say plonk one bus that covers all of that one bus that covers that one bus that covers that or if you can get away with covering both of them that does work sometimes i run those i kind of call those express services but i like the ones that uh, have multiple stops just in case people are, are just outside those bus services to consider them uh, too slow or it's, it might just work out better that uh, they'll go by car so it kind of grabs those fringe fringe case people anyway right we've got we've got another bus service in Let's go down here and look at our buses. Going through Kings Heath now. There we go. Beautiful shot. Let's not do that. Can we... There's all the trees. There they go. Double deckers. I'm looking at the wrong side of the road. I was expecting them to be on the other side, obviously. There go our some more double deckers, which have sound now. Hello. You, you took a shortcut, didn't you? I like you. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why they're all going that way. I'm not I'm not going to be part of your convoy. I'm busy. And off he goes. I do like that they instantly spread out. Or try to. As best as possible. That's lovely. Well guys, unfortunately, I think we're, we're coming to the end of the season. It's not unfortunate, is it? We've got two weeks... A two week break. I will go and do a little bit more scenery work. We're obviously not going to end it there. Yes, I'll try and do a bit more scenery work. I've done some here as well. I keep, you know, we almost missed it. There we go. Kings, oh, Kings Norton. Come on. I'm, I'm getting to know the areas around Birmingham. What we got parked up here? He's just sitting there. What is that? It's a cross city train, isn't it? Yeah, he's just sitting there, spacing himself out. I love it. And away he goes. So this is how Kings Norton Depot is starting to look now. It's a bit better, isn't it? We've got some, uh, we've got some goodies like thrown around in the yards there. We've got the, the grass on the ground there. It's all in, enclosed. We've got another train up there. Uh, yep, we've got some uh, some steamers parked up. Got lights at the depot. Do you like that? It's starting to look a bit better, isn't it? We're getting there. We're getting there. Now, if we head up this way, I've, I've not really done much with this, but it is uh, it is growing. So much for the recap. <laughs> There's no way I'm fitting a recap. Not not that it matters. We've we've seen everything. Um, you could always go and look at the various areas. We've got uh, a nice mixture of buses running now in uh, the centre of Birmingham, and we've also got uh, what, what are these? They're uh, are they fuel yeah we've got the fuel, fuel trucks they've got fuel on board in fact oh that's an awkward place for you to do rubbish roads game really is well it's not too bad is it it's like a bit of a speed bump it's gonna be sad to say goodbye to some of our steamers however oh, it's so busy down there you are beautiful down here aren't you bit laggy C can we uh if i if i put this on low does it speed it up at all not really does it make any difference probably not if i put that on high does it make any difference no just i, I, I don't know i don't know we could sit there look at that for a little bit and that and that amazing it's so busy so it's going to be cab rides, a few cab rides. I'll try and get a, a couple in at least. And I mean, I guess we can do the cross city line, although it's a bit dodgy in places. 
Do you mind it not being too sceneried up? In places? I mean, it'd just be nice to get some done, right? Although, although we want to avoid too much Birmingham travel because obviously it gets a bit, gets a bit stuttery in Birmingham, doesn't it? Due to uh, everything that's going around here, all the traffic and the smoke and the, the trains. Now, goodness me, that is stuttering. I did cash this before I started. Let's bring up the UI again because I need to... Uh, for the cab ride. And I'm just going to put this on low, I think. Uh, it should be a bit smoother. It's not really, is it? It's a, it's a little bit smoother. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. When we come back, how are we going to deal with this? The uh, transition into the diesel era. era. I did want to say that. That is the... That's Birmingham City's ground, I think so. Yeah, that's Villa's ground over there. Yeah, the transition into the diesel era. There, our mainline fast intercity trains are still going to be steam trains because they are better for that sort of thing. Still, probably pretty much like it was in the real, the real transition towards diesel. So what we're going to be doing is the branch lines are going to be the, the, the local branch lines. As a plane takes off, oh, do you know, I almost forgot, we've got another airport. How long we got left? Do you know, quickly do it. Quickly do it, Grand. Over here, we've I've put in Cosford. Don't worry, it's, it's not going to end up like this. But we want to represent planes coming in from America and uh, Ireland and stuff. So, for now, we're going to represent, um, oh, what are you doing? Make a line. We're going to have a couple new lines. I, we're just going to have these, whatever, non-garish color we got. Sky blue. You're going to go there. And I want one to go into, where's Birmingham? One to go into there. That will be, I don't know. We're just going to call this Cosford to, to Birmingham for now we'll, we'll think of actual names for them and then we want we want another one which will make a slightly different sky blue and it's going to be going from just to put some more air traffic in the sky that's that's all that's for really it's not for any other reason uh to uh east midlands airport over there so we've got cosford it's actually ref Cos cosford i think to East Midlands Airport. There we go. We got those in, and uh, we're just going to throw a couple of planes on here. Terminals. Yeah, we're going to throw a couple of planes on there. We'll put this because we've got these, haven't we? Block, uh, we'll put the DCs back on for that, and uh, we'll colour them that colour. I don't know. Do you know? Just leave them that colour. One there. Set line. One to Birmingham International. Buy another one. Set line, East Midlands. Right, a couple more planes in the sky. We'll just leave it like that. That's a good place to end it, guys. Thank you for watching this entire season. It's not over yet. Obviously, we're coming back for season two, where we're going to say hello to those Class 101s. We've got three different liveries, plus we can colour the uh, the basic BR ones. We're, we're going to jump on to uh, our brand new train here, I think. Do we have one that's out by Shrub Hill? Of course we don't. We do have one going that way. So we'll get on board you. There we go. Let's hide all of that. No, oh, it was already hidden. <laughs> yeah, that's been uh, the, the first season complete. 80 episodes. Hundreds of hours of work put into the map so far. There just wasn't enough time to get everything done that I wanted to show you. It would have been like three hours long. Anyhow, I, I, I hope this goes out today and not on Friday. I'm going to do my best to try not to edit it too much. There's going to be some edits, obviously, because I've got some things wrong. I'll leave you with a, a, a little bit of a cab ride here. Don't forget, no, uh, no transport fever for a couple of weeks, but we are coming back into the diesel era and we are heading to the midlands which was a bit of a segue with the east midlands airport there yes the the next series is going to be or the next season i should say is going to be concentrating 
on the Midland Midland Main Line. This one has been all about the West Coast Main Line and everything's branching off that. So this time we're going to be all about the Midland Main Line and everything branching off that, which then all connects into the West Coast Main Line and it, it kind of just wraps it all up nicely. We'll even have a little bit of the East Coast Main Line. Oh, that brings back memories of when I was doing that map. Yep, there we go. Loved it. I enjoyed myself so far. And I'm really looking forward to the diesel era. I really am. Those 101s, I'm so excited. Two weeks can't come soon enough. But at the same time, I'm looking forward to detailing everything. And, uh, and having a little bit of downtime. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll go quick. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll have a couple of cab rides. I try and get a couple of cab rides up, at least, even if they're even if the scenery work's not quite finished, because we'll we'll do the same cab rides in diesels as well. But see how the the scenery's uh, improved. Yeah, there we go. All right then, guys. A uh, couple of weeks off. So until next time. Take care.